Hi, I'm Ben Hanawalt, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. And today I want to talk about tightening strategies on the Power Focus 6000. Today we're going to be talking about one of our newer tools that there's been a lot of excitement about. This is the TBP tool. Now the TBP tool uses a special type of tightening program called an impulse tightening program. And so we're going to dig into exactly how to get this thing up and running. So let's take a look down in the software. If you look up at the top left corner, there's a tab called Tightening. We're going to click into there, and you'll notice we have our Tightening Program Library and our Multi-Step Program Library. The TBP is always going to be programmed into the Tightening Program Library. So I'm going to come up to the top right corner, click on the plus button, and now it's going to create us a new program. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a name. So I'm actually going to call it Impulse. 25 newton meters. Since we're using the TBP tool, it does use an impulse strategy. Now if I come into the strategy tab, I can come in, change, and you can see down at the bottom we have an option for impulse single step. So I'm going to click on that, and you're going to notice that we have a whole bunch of red exclamation marks. This indicates that there is some sort of an issue with the tightening program. So as we program it, our intention is to get rid of all of those and make sure we have a valid tightening program. So the first thing I want to do is put in my target torque. I'm going to put in 25 newton meters like I named it. Hit enter. Now, I want to bring up something else on the Power Focus 6000. On the PF6000, we have the ability to have multiple tools. So we can have a wide range of tools, all the way from very small to very large tools. So for this tool, since it uses a special strategy, I want to come to the top right corner, this tool icon. This is going to be our validation button. So I'm going to click on this, and you can see I have two tools in here to choose from, the cabled tool and also my battery tool, which is our, our TBP tool right here. So if I click on this, and hit validate, what you'll notice is, is it actually validates that program to this specific tool. So at this point in time, this is a valid tightening program, but I want to go into the tightening parameters to show you around a little bit. So let's go into tightening parameters, edit, and you can see this is broken up into three different stages. Unlike some of the other strategies which have four, uh, four steps in them, this one only has three. Um, we have the ability to turn on soft start, and we can do that for a certain uh, RPM for a certain period of time, as well as the ability to turn on rehit detection. So I can come in and turn on rehit detection if I want to. Moving on to the second stage or the rundown stage, this is where we want to adjust our speed. Now the TBP tools themselves are quite fast tools. This tool specifically is a 6,000 RPM tool. So what I want to do is actually I want to go in and change this over to manual and slow that tool down a little bit. I want to change this down to, let's say about half of the tool speed, and we'll see how it reacts at half of the tool speed, um, since this is a pretty hard test joint that we're going to be testing on today. We also have the ability to do time limits, pulse limits, since this is a pulsing tool, um, our rundown complete torque, which we're going to leave set to five, and then moving on to the tightening stage, this is a really important step. In here we have the ability to, under tightening parameters, we have the ability to adjust what is called the pulse energy as well as our uh, residual torque correlation factor. Now specific to this, that pulse energy, we're going to want to adjust it based on whether it's a hard or a soft joint. Uh, because this is a hard joint, we may need to adjust this as we go. But what I want to do is, I actually want to do a rundown on this real quick, and let's see where we're hitting in terms of uh, target torque. So if I come to my results tab, and give this guy a loosen real quick, and then tighten it down. So you can see we got a good torque. It was set at uh, 25 newton meters. We overshot to about 28.7. So what I want to do is I want to dial in that tightening program. So I'm going to come back into my tightening program, and I'm actually going to adjust that pulse energy. I'm going to adjust it slightly down, and what this does is it actually puts less energy into each one of the pulses from the pulse unit. So if I take this from 80% down to about 50%, let's check our, check our program. So now, when I go back in and I rerun it down, 
changing that pulse energy. Let's see. So you can see it went from overshooting to 28.7 all the way down to 25.04 just by adjusting that pulse energy. Um, and that's really all there is with this TBP tool. They're, they're very uh, simple tightening programs. We do have the ability to add in time and angle limits if we would like to. Um, we would just come into our final step and turn on angle, time, or also pulse limits. We're going to leave those off just for this example, but I want you to keep something in mind. Um, we have two new tools at Atlas Copco that do pulse strategies. One of them is this TBP tool. One of them is also the SRB tool, which is actually a DC motor that's pulsing the DC gear set. They're going to be programmed very similar. I can show you the differences right now. If I come into strategy and change this over to a tensor pulse, that would be for the SRB tool. And you're going to notice there's some similar features, right? We have our pulse energy. We also have our reaction force tuning factor. But in terms of our speeds and our torque limits, everything else is going to be the same on a, um, an SRB tool versus a TBP tool. So I hope this video has been informational for you. I hope that uh, this can get you up and running when you're using a TBP tool or an SRB tool, um, depending on which version you're using. Um, and if you do have any more questions, feel free to contact your Atlas Copco representative for more information. Thank you.